So I have a quick story that I want to share with you. I actually started off in my childhood. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm from Grand Junction, Colorado. It's home of the Junior College World Series. So every summer, uh, it's a week-long event. Uh, there's several junior colleges that show up, earn their way into the tournament. And uh, as a kid, you, you can follow a team all the way through. Hopefully they make it to a, uh, the championship game. Uh, if they don't, if they lose two games, then they're out of the tournament. And a lot of times when these teams lose, uh, the players are very uh, obviously upset, but they're also very good with the fans and, and especially the kids that are there. They'll give away their, you know, their hats, their gloves, their, their cleats, uh, anything. And for a kid, I mean, you know, what, what better situation is there than to get some actual uh, equipment from uh, a college baseball player. So growing up in Grand Junction, it was a great event. It was awesome to be able to, to go there, root, root a team, pick players to follow. Uh, and then, you know, maybe walk out with some, some cool memorabilia. So uh, in eighth grade, summer of my eighth grade year, uh, I had followed a team from Mississippi. And uh, there was a particular player on the team. His name's Matt Lawton. And uh, I thought he was a great player, followed him all through the tournament. Well, their team, unfortunately, uh, got uh, eliminated from the tournament. So there I was uh, as a kid waiting for the, the team to kind of come walking out the field and start asking, you know, do you have a hat I can have? Do you have cleats, anything? And uh, I was able to talk to Matt, and, and uh, fortunately he, not only did he give me something, he gave me a bat, a wood bat, and it had his name on it. Um, I thought that was an amazing uh, gesture, and I had to wrestle off a couple kids for it, along with one of my good friends helped me, uh, but I was able to get the bat. And uh, it was something that I, that I really cherished, uh, like all through high school, it was something where, you know, I, I decided to follow Matt through his professional career. He got drafted, uh, put together a great career for himself. And um, so years down the road, you know, I go to college, I ended up getting drafted myself, uh, work my way through the minor leagues, and then end up going to the big leagues with, with Kansas City. And wouldn't you know it, we're playing against the Cleveland Indians. And guess who's on the other team? Matt Lott. So I was able to actually face Matt uh, I think I got him to pop up uh, to left field, something like that. But it was just a really cool experience, really surreal experience to be able to look at this guy and really appreciate what he did for me as a kid, uh, just offering you know any type of equipment, let alone a, a nice wooden bat with his name on it, uh, and then being able to face him uh, several years later at the big league level. So just a really fun story. I love telling that story to a lot of kids. Just and uh, you know it, it, it's really motivational to be able to uh, uh, receive something from someone you look up to and be able to help that fuel your desire to reach that level as well.